right. Hi, I'm Ariana with Fresh Pair of Eyes. How are you guys? Hi, good. good. How are you? Good. Awesome. Erica, you and I both went to Michigan, but not at the same time. Oh, no way. Go blue. We won last <laughs> night. <laughs> so what attracted you guys to this project to begin with? So it had such a strong fan base to begin with, but now you guys are in a new series that already kind of existed before. It's just, there's nothing else really like it out there. So um, it's just very rare. I think there's, you, you know, there's a lot of content these days. It's based on pre-existing stuff. Um, the only pre-existing material for Hasman Hotel were things in Vivian's mind. <laughs> so that was just really special. I just think that's such a unique opportunity as an actor to jump into something that there is no outline. Obviously we had the incredible pilot um but but even watching the pilot i thought there's really nothing like this there's nothing that is as raunchy and as funny and silly that also has these like heartbreaking moments to it so i love when comedy has like the sandwich of joke heartfelt joke because you just keep surprising people you don't know where it's gonna go yes what about I you similarly i i felt really similarly it was it, it's such a cool interesting weird unknown world i also love the juxtaposition of this story about it's pretty serious stuff whether or not a soul can be redeemed even after death with musical theater songs and like <laughs> cool pop songs and like kind of a really funky interesting design that i've never seen before i i like the whole mix of it and i think Viv is a really incredible creator and i was very excited to, to collaborate with her and the rest of the team yes uh baggy and charlie are such opposites but they clearly have such a sweet relationship and bond why do you think they have such a connection to each other i, I think they're like yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Steph. Why do you fall in love with anybody? You know, there's something in them. <laughs> you just you see something and you just can't live without it. You cannot imagine living without it anymore after you've met them. And that's I think that's the way Baggy feels about Charlie. There's something about the way Charlie sees the world that she, Baggy just can never turn away from now, you know? And Baggy's really, she's a badass. She's tough. She's smart. She's got a very intense temper, but she's also got a heart of gold. And that's basically what Charlie is, is a whole big old heart of gold. Right. And so Baggy's number one goal in life is to help Charlie make her dreams come true. That's what she wants to do as a partner. That's what that will be the thing that fulfills her life is to help this other person who she loves fulfill their dreams, which I think is so like loving and giving and generous and selfless. I think it's an amazing love story to have at the center of this. And, you know, it's also, it's gay, which, you know, we love. We love. <laughs> we love it. Yeah. Yes. Why do you think Charlie um is so invested in baggy because she also isn't like trying to save her or change her uh which maybe that's i mean that's it i think that is why they love one another is they both like take each other for what they are like they could not be more opposite but i do think they both have a pureness at their center their core is they will be themselves and the other person does not expect them to change or to alter um so that's the thing. It's like, I think Charlie gets, I think Charlie loves Baggy for the reasons of she can be wholly herself around her and Baggy is not trying to change her, but also Baggy gives her sort of a strength and a confidence in herself that like all you can want from your partner is for them to believe in you. And like, I think Baggy believes in Charlie so beautifully. Uh, and that's such a special, that's such a special gift to receive from a partner. Um, and such a selfless thing too. So I think that is a be like that might be one of the bonds that continues to tie them together. Yes. How would you say you guys approach voice acting compared to being on the stage or being on screen? You especially, Stephanie, you have so many different voices. Mm. I think it's really freeing. It's very, very freeing because the the you know 
the body doesn't have to match what you're doing in the booth, you know, and you could be animated in all these shapes and ways and forms. It's very freeing. You just really get to use your imagination in a way that it's, it's a little more limited when you're in this, in this vessel on a stage mm -hmm. or in this vessel in front of a camera. Um, and it's like a lot about trust. I mean, all of acting is about trust, but this in particular voiceover acting is a lot about trust because you don't always know. I mean, when we did Encanto, I was, I was never given a full script at any point. There was no like, here's the story from beginning to end. It was like, come in and we'll give you a little bit more about where we're going. There were surprises around every corner. And this was very similar because we didn't know where we were going from week to week. We didn't have the whole thing written out and given to us as some kind of Bible. Obviously, Bib had it. So that's where that trust comes in because you're giving a performance based on you don't really know where it's going, but they do. Your directing team does know. And so you just trust that they're going to lead you down the right path. Yeah. And which um, guest of the hotel do you think would be the hardest to re rehabilitate? <laughs> Nifty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's not changing. No. She won't. She can't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, but what's funny is like uh, out of all of them also like is Nifty. I mean, again, this is, this is why the show is such a, it's so much about the gray area of morality and like right and wrong because like is Nifty bad? No, I don't I even don't, think Nifty's a guest so. at the hotel. I think she like came with the garage. Like I think yeah, they just like, like where did she come found from? her. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to Kamiko about it and I'm like, is Nifty just there for access to the bad boys? Like is she even <laughs> on this program? going on yeah. we love i want a whole nifty episode where it's just like you watch her day to day like what is her morning routine i want to know stop 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 also well thank you so much for taking time to talk to me about this i can't wait to talk to you about this again and future projects thanks Aww. nice to meet you awesome you guys have a good one bye bye